Meteor FX. Coming at you 17 um, November here. Quiet morning, not much to talk about here. Yields are lower in the U.S., 372. Let's uh, take a look at this. God, I mean, remember when we were at 430? Um, 372 is, uh, you know, it's a big-ass move, right? 60 basis points from the high. Um, and look pretty droopy still, right? There's no real, no real Shazam in this chart. Um, so these yields could go lower. I don't think we're going to possibly see lower than 350. Um, but that's kind of, uh, could easily see 350. And what's the effect of that on FX? Not exactly what we would have thought, right? So the dollar's gaining a little bit. Aussie here has come back down, um, which is weird. I mean, it's, it, this is, I guess, just a bit of mean reversion, right? The market's a little bit overextended, short dollars here. We were up at one. We were up at 68 cents. Now we're down at 67 cents. You can see this is two and a half uh, sigma from the 34 day. So this does usually, you know, indicate that things are getting stretchy. We were stretchy for three, four days in a row. Now this looks like a little bit of mean reversion. Dollar Canada the same way. Market is very short. Dollar CAD. It's a strong global macro story, just because. Canadian employment came out so strong, U.S. rates are lower, oil is very high, um, but it held support, which was basically the big breakup area, 132.20. Uh, now we're 133.50, you know, your sell level is 135, um, so we're basically 135, 132, we're right in the middle here, so as we've said a million times, do not trade in the middle, uh, smack middle of the range. Euro dollar got to its 200 day, could not close above, which is 104.22. This looks like we're going to consolidate a little bit more. Uh, oddly, the uh, Italian trade balance came in much better today. Um, so that was uh, that was weirdly uh, another weird number that came out today. It was a bit surprising. Didn't really move much. Italian yields 396, um, down from 5%. Um, but uh, that was a positive number out of the euro, eurozone. I'm not sure why I'm mentioning it. it doesn't move anything, so I'll just shut up now. Cable, uh, core short, and just sort of chilling. Uh, but if you didn't, if you didn't get your sell levels up towards 120, there's no point in hitting the 118.81 bid. Your risk reward is now upside down because your stop has to be above 120.31. That said. Um, your next trading cable might easily be buying 120 31s because everyone's stops are going to be there. This is a long term pivot. Uh, if we do get above there, that's actually not a bad trigger for longs, uh, especially if you're a trend follower or you're not afraid to trade momentum. Um, we've obviously made a living 30 years doing that, so we, we don't really give a shit. These are just, you know, these rates are just numbers for us. Um, but right now we're short. Um, but we will, hopefully, we won't be flipping to long through that number, which means that our shorts will have not taken profit. Hopefully, we take profit in shorts somewhere between here, between now and, and 115, and then the next move up, which will be a big dollar sell driven move if it happens, because it certainly won't be sterling strength. Um, it's an interesting level up there now, 120, 120, 30. Dollar yen, not doing anything. Real tight range, don't bother. Dollar Swiss, again, mean reverting a little bit in the tiniest little way. 40 point range, nobody really cares uh, about Dollar Swiss today. Kiwi's doing what Aussie is doing, mean reverting. Aussie yen, middle of nowhere. Euro sterling, ticky, 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 86.90 is. Coming up, 95 the low. This looks like it's turning. God knows why, but um, interesting level. 86.93, 86.90. Uh, there's a trade there. Uh, again, for those of you who um, are brave enough to sell through lows, um, there might be a trade there. Euro yen, nothing to speak of. Sterling yen, middle of the range. Our pal dollars are mean reverting a little bit, but on its knees. Um, 
Tsar is having a little little party here down from 1850 to 1720. It's a good 10%. Bang. Um, Euro as is, you would expect. Nothing. Swiss yen. Who cares? Cad Swiss. Uh, mean reverting. I don't mind. Um, I don't mind buying some Cad Swiss. You know, fishing for Cad Swiss in here in the 70. 7055 area, 7055, 7025. Um, this is overcooked, and the story in Canada is pretty good. So, CAD, CAD Swiss is, is okay. Euro Norway, not really doing too much. Dollar Norway, same little mean reversion. Let's look at gold. Gold also mean reverting here. Um, you know, this looks like a good buy around 1740. Which is you know one and one and three quarters percent away. A lot of talk about dollar China, um, which is aggressively mean reverting. I don't really trust any of the news or numbers out of China. I do uh, get the feeling that economically China is a little bit fucked right now. So this is sort of a buy on dip. Your pivot here is seventeen sixteen. Um, I don't know getting mid-range, but uh, this is something we're going to look a little bit more closely at uh, going forward, dollar China. Crypto on its knees, Ethereum, Matic. I was out with some crypto guys last night. Man, it's a sad crowd to uh, have beers with. Uh, everyone is like mopey, kamopey. Um, obviously, uh, Rubini called out CZ yesterday at Fintech Abu Dhabi. For those of you who are watching the space, um, we've heard a lot of alarming rumors um, about what might be happening to Rubini for saying that, those sort of uh, quasi-slanderous comments. But suffice it to say, um, there's a real lack of confidence in the space, and the tide is going out, right? It's Emperor's New Clothes. Uh, this is one of those 2002 moments dot com did the same where all of the crappy members of this financial community get slaughtered and whoever remains standing is going to be just fine. We think Ethereum is going to be one of those remains standing. We think Matic is as well. Um, to be fair, we thought Solana was going to be one of them, but now it's not so clear. So shows you how things can change quite quickly. Um, we talked about DYDX, decentralized exchange. Um, you know, as people move away from centralized, the idea of centralized stuff within the crypto world, uh, these infrastructures or this exchange, Uniswap competitor, uh, should benefit. Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, not much going on trading-wise today. We're watching this euro sterling level. Uh, we're core short uh, cable, so we're, 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 we're managing that. Obviously, if the euro sterling level comes in, we may trim some of our, our cable shorts because that, that level will create some cable sterling buying. Um, what do we have? We've got... Uh, the autumn forecast statement out of the UK today that could drive some stuff uh, and Philly Fed in the US 2.30 Central European time so on your toes uh, typically for them we've got some speakers as well tonight we got Fed speakers we got MPC speakers um, all through the evening in Europe tomorrow looks like a quiet day on the calendar so could be some more range trading um, might be a day to sit on your hands if, you don't, if you're not running positions already. Uh, let me just add the refrain that I always say. Deciding not to trade is a trade, and normally it's a good trade. Um, sitting on the sidelines when you don't have conviction or the levels aren't there is absolutely the professional thing to do. So uh, keep that in mind. All right, I've said enough. Good luck out there. Um, make some dough. Uh, if you can, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.